home to a sink full of dirty dishes. Stop complaining. It's your turn to wash up this week. Most of these are from last week when it was your turn. <laughs> I recognise the egg. I'm making the beds this week. Not every day, but there's no point going mad. Look, the pan's coming off and the egg isn't. I think I'd like one of those continental things to fling on my bed. Like Sasha Distel? Mm. Yeah, you do. Keep me warm. Ah, here comes dinner. Right, we've sliced the chips, the peas are in the pan. What's for the main course? Chocolate cream gutter. Well, we won't need the gravy. Well, listen, I can't pick and choose what I'm given to cook, but next Saturday, football. Braised, boiled, fried? No, I'm playing it. I'm in the team for the technical college. Oh, can't you get out of it? Well, I will play, you see. I mean, it's a great privilege. It's an honour, you know, and it also pulls the birds. I mean, South Kent Tech is a very widely known team. Never heard of it. Well, oh. no, I mean, neither I do today, but it's, it's widely known to a select few. They're seventh in the league. How many are there? Uh, well, eight, you know, but they've been having a run of bad luck recently. I mean, the only reason I'm playing is that, you know, one of the regulars, Barry, he sprained his toe kick in the scoreboard. So they picked you? Well, come on, I mean, there are only two people available for football, and the other one, you know, she was pregnant, so, uh... <laughs> I could score with both feet. Oh, you'd think you'd fall over. <laughs> and look, we're very pleased for you, but what are we going to do for dinner tonight? Well, there's a Chinese takeaway around the corner. No, there isn't. They've taken it away. <laughs> it's a betting shop now. Tell you what, we'll go down to the Mucky Duck and buy a pint pie to celebrate, all right? <laughs> really, George, I've never heard such language. That traffic warden had got a job to do. Well, I ain't to say my piece. If you haven't come, little twit, I said. I've half a mind to thump you, I said. Yeah, only after she'd gone. <laughs> Right, so that's uh, two lagers and a pint. And I'll have a large scotch. Thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I'll have one of the same, dear. Thank you. Yeah, I'll give you a hand to carry them. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Great. He's a bit bolshy tonight. Threatened a traffic warden. Him. <laughs> they wouldn't have him as bouncer for mother care. Because <laughs> it's the full moon. Yeah. And uh, a large scotch. Oh, uh, it's purely traditional. I've got this terrible. <laughs> and can I have three of those pies, please? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Could you make that three cheese rolls? <laughs> right, you come and see me on Saturday. I'm playing football for the Technical College. Football? Cool. It hasn't been the same since Stadley Batthews retired. Stadley Batthews? <laughs> Stadley Batthews, the wizard of the dribble. Oh, yeah. I used to have dozens of colds every winter, then I started taking vitamin C. Last year I only had one. Oh, really? Mm, last year from October to March. <laughs> then she gave it to the milkman. Well, it was his birthday. <laughs> oh, there we go. Three oh, cheese rolls. Yeah. Yep, right from the <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bastion, Boltonson, Banyan. They're all barbarous bitfield, Ben. Yes, and we've got them today. Yeah, as long as we had layabout. Too busy putting in their heated rollers to train. Now, come on, take Peter Osgood. Well, you take him. I'll take him. So will I. He can curl one in on me any time. <laughs> well, he never scored five goals for Blackpool in the Cup. No, no, he plays for Chelsea. <laughs> Always an excuse. Look, can't we talk about something less controversial? Religion or politics? Yes, George. All right, all right. I think Enoch Powell should be Prime Minister. <laughs> about Matthews, Bortonson and Bunny. <laughs> oh! Oh, stop panicking. You don't see me scurrying about trying to get to work on time. I'm calm, relaxed, in control of the situation. It's your day off. That's part of it. <laughs> don't tell me that clock's slow. No. Oh, good. It stopped. Oh, God! <laughs> Have you given Robin a knock? He's awake. I heard him sneezing. Sneezing? Morning. What's the matter? Don't you feel too good? Well... Uh... <laughs> no. Don't you bring that cold in here. No, we don't want your rotten jokes. Oh, please, please, no sympathy, please. <laughs> oh, I've got such a headache. All over. You know where you got that, don't you? Roper. Yeah. Mark that cup so as we don't use it. Oh, I'll carry a bell if you like. I'm clean, I'm clean. Honestly, if I don't shake this off a Saturday, you know, I'm not going to be fit to play. Oh, poor thing. We must look after ourselves, mustn't we? We must get better. Oh. We must go to bed. We? Optimist. <laughs> Take our medicine chest with you. What? Oh, God. Oh. Come on. Oh. In you go. Oh. 
I think I'll give him my electric blanket. Well, someone's got to look after him, haven't they? Oh, we could have him destroyed. What? <laughs> Lose his share of the rent? <laughs> Juice. Thank you. Thank you. What? You got that lipstick stuck up your nose? <laughs> so I don't know what half these things are in here for. No, neither do we. They might come in useful one day. Oh, look, have some of these. They're a pretty colour. Jojo, look, it's very dangerous to take medicine without a doctor's prescription. Oh, they won't do you any harm. Men don't get what they're for. Oh. <laughs> I dug out that old electric blanket of ours. It's a bit moth-eaten, but it should be all right. What, that old thing? But that was here when we came. Listen, are you, sh are you sure this is safe? Yeah, of course it is. It's probably pre-war, but then electricity hasn't changed much, has it? I might like get electrocuted. You want to live forever? Get in. <laughs> I'm going to be late for work. Well, off you go, then. No, no, I want to see what happens when you switch it off. It's <laughs> perfectly safe. No, lay, oi, oi. Why have you got your fingers crossed, then? You never know, do you? What? Right. Five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. Zip! Oh, I'm going. Oh, hot mothballs. Oh. Right, where's that thermometer of ours? Ah, here we are. Oh, Chrissy, Chrissy, that's, that's a cooking thermometer. So? Listen, the last time that was used, it was probably stuffed up a chicken. I'm not putting that in my mouth. <laughs> Places. <laughs> oh, you'd enjoy that, wouldn't you? Oh, of course. Right, I've got the ideal thing for you. Old Mother Asquith's mystical remedies. All oh, right. Uh. Now, take a quantity of boiled cabbage leaves, an oil of cod's liver, and beeswax, and place on the parts. I'll beg your pardon. <laughs> That's for gout. Uh -huh. Here's one for colds. Take one pound of goose grease. Goose grease? Have you ever seen a goose with flu? No, no. It's to rub on your chest. I see. But don't worry, you'll live to play football again. I'll get you better, even if it kills you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Goose grease. Ah, lard will do. Right. Eggs. Vinegar. Vinegar. Uh, spirits of turpentine. Slurp the turps. <laughs> Spirit of wine. Spirit of wine. Ye gin bottle. <laughs> morning, morning. Hey, I've just dug out this photograph album to show the young fella. There's a picture in here of me and Stanley Matthews together. You sound a lot better this morning. Oh, oh the cold. Oh, oh, yeah, I think I lost it. No, you haven't. It's up here. Uh, yeah. oh, there's something on the stove. Me and Stanley. Now, there was a player. You never saw him tripping over his own hair. Oh, look, there we are. That's him just after he scored in the final. Well, I can see Stanley Matthews, but where are you? Well, there's me there in the background. What, being carried off the pitch by the police? <laughs> Hello, what have you got there? It's Robbins. Oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah. He's a bit of a chef, I believe. Called on blue. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's pecan. <laughs> Must be an acquired taste. <laughs> Camphor. Why are you putting camphor in it? Because he's got a cold. This is to rub on his chest. Cold. <laughs> um, he's in bed if you want to see him. <clears throat> oh, medium rare. Great. <laughs> right, I'm ready for basting. Hello. Oh, hello. It's Typhoid Mary. <laughs> Come on, don't be like that. Oh, I've brought this to show you. Ah, look, there he is. A wizard of the dribble. Oh, yeah. Great. Oh, yeah, and some idiot being carried off by the police, honestly. It's so ridiculous the way they run them. And, uh, well, natural enthusiasm, I suppose. Right, uh, lie back, open your pyjama top. Listen, are you, are you sure this is going to work? Well, old mother Asquith swore by it. She must have been mad. Oh, no, it smells terrible. You should taste it some. <laughs> Listen, I'm not, I'm not quite... <laughs> I'd quite enjoy it if it was me. Yeah, I'd quite enjoy it if it was you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's tickled. It tickled. Oh. Would oh. you like me to leave? <laughs> no, no, it's all right. Oh, I could feel the warmth. Oh, going right through my body. Well, it must be powerful stuff. He's taking the airs off his chest. <laughs> you what? That's all right. You can always stick them back on again. <laughs> Plug a dictaphone in, right? Yeah, and it's really made my ear sore. How's Robin's cock? Oh, he's taking it like a man, moaning, groaning, and feeling sorry for himself. <laughs> I phoned Dr. McLeod. He said he'd pop in later. Uh. Hello. Uh, three days to go on set. I'm never going to be fit to play football or something. <laughs> you look like Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> We're much. doing everything we can. Uh. You know, I read a book once. <laughs> I look of the frozen north, you see. And when an Eskimo gets a cold, all the women of the tribe, well, well, the young women, really, see, they all, they all strip off and they get into bed with him, you see, on the theory that they're all going to sweat it out together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Does it work? No, but it doesn't seem to bother them. <laughs> You'll have to make do with your electric blanket. Right. right this, I think I'll have this in the other room, honestly. This room's so small, every time I sneeze, my ears pop. Go on. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, I feel like an old man. You're out of luck, we haven't got one. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> oh. Right, tuck into that. Oh, thanks very much, Chris. Listen, listen, I really do appreciate everything you've done for me today, really. Chrissy, this is English mustard. Yeah. Now, oh, come on, you know I like French mustard in my beef. It's cheese. <laughs> I can't taste a bloody thing. Just as well, because the cheese was a bit mouldy. Oh. Well, it's all penicillin, isn't it? Right. Good evening, Dr. McLeod. Where's the patient? Oh, it's there. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, what seems to be the trouble, young man? Come on. Come on. Locked your. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, that was a sandwich. No, I've, got, I've got a cold or I've got a flu. I've got, oh. I hope you don't mind being called out just for that. No, as it happens, I had a strangulated hernia in the next street. Oh. <laughs> Would you like to sit down? <laughs> Are you regular? Oh. oh, yes, we set our clocks by him. Uh -huh. mm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Shouldn't we boil up masses of hot water or something? No, I shouldn't bother. That's one thing he definitely isn't. Can you get him better by Saturday, because he's playing football? Well, I could give him a high-potency vitamin injection, I suppose. Oh, good. I have no faith in them myself, but there you go. <laughs> Who are you playing for? South Kent Tech. Uh-huh. Hmm. Well, just lower your pyjama trousers and bend over. Right. Oh, thanks very much. Cheers. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Chrissy, I'm sure the doctor might like a nice cup of tea, yes? Not for me, no, thank you. <laughs> uh, well, you know, isn't there something you, you two girls should be doing in the kitchen? No. no. Will you push off the pair of you? We can take a hint. Well, I'm a keen Arsenal supporter myself. <laughs> what do you think of it? Arsenal? <laughs> I think they're a load of... Um, do you mind if I tell you after you've given me this injection? As if we'd be interested in seeing him with his pyjamas down. Oh. oh! And that was only the alcohol swab. Oh, as a matter of fact, I don't think much of Arsenal. I'm a Southampton supporter. Southampton? Yeah. Aye, well, you're probably a wee bit feverish. <laughs> Just you stay in bed, and by Saturday, with a bit of luck, you'll be all right. Oh! <laughs> You don't mind me borrowing your toothbrush. Mine's molting. Oh, that's not mine. It's the one we clean our suede shoes with. 
Morning, morning. Morning. Watch this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm smelling again. You've been smelling all week. Goose, grease and camphor. No, no, I mean, I'm fit, I'm fit. The sap is rising. Oh, what do you want for breakfast? Oh, I think I'll have you on toast. Oh, oh. Oh. Hey, watch him, his sap's rising. Not before breakfast. Oh, I can just see it. I can just see it this afternoon. Wallop, one goal up. Wallop, two goal up. A little knot with it. Three goals up, only a minute gone. That's crowd start muttering. Who can he be? Is it Pelly? White it up! It's hey. you, uh, so Tom. Oh, it's most probably the team captain who are panicking about my fitness. He does a quick one, two, he calls for it! Wow! Oh, what a goal! What? They tie his legs together, give the other team a chance. He opts round one, he opts round two, and what a pack of rams ignore this talent! Uh -huh. Hello, Tom. Yeah, yeah. Listen, sorry I couldn't make the training, you know, but I was fighting off this cold, but I'm fit and ruined. Harry? What, well, his toe? Is it? Is he? Oh. That is... that is good news. Oh. Yeah, fine. OK. Yeah, OK, Tom. Yeah. Fine. Uh, well... I'm out of the team. Oh, why? Well, you know, uh, Barry, you know, and his, his bruised toe, well, with deep heat treatment and all that, um, he's going to be fit to play. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, Tom said, you know, uh, you know, next time they'd consider me, you know, uh, if they're desperate. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. It could have been worse. You could have lost your place to the one who was pregnant. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, dear. You know, I'm not, I'm not upset about it at all, you know. It's only a game. I'll buy you a pint at lunchtime. Yeah, fine, fine. <laughs> no, you know, I'm really, I'm really glad that they've got the team they wanted. I mean, you know, I was only, I was only trying to help. You know, if they don't want me, uh, I shall just go out and cut my throat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't help feeling sorry for him, can you? <laughs> he jumped off the team. <laughs> oh, I don't find that amusing, George. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, it's very sad, really, isn't it? I mean, after all the effort you made to get rid of the <laughs> I suppose it does have its funny side. Hey, of course it does. Here I are for a large scotch. Yes, yeah, so did I, but she didn't hear me. <laughs> Look, we can still go to the match if you want. No, we can't. It's an away game. It's a Catford. Oh, we can hire native guides, hack our way through with machetes. No, we'll never make it now, not by bus. We'll hire an elephant. <laughs> you can borrow our car if you like. Hire an elephant. <laughs> what? Ah. Make a nice change for it, George. I mean, actually moving, instead of just standing there being polished. Now, look here. That's very, very decent of you, thank you. Keys, George. I'm not lending my car to the Keys. Lighting. the same toe. Bad luck, Barry. Oh. oh, Barry. No, really. You know, I'm awfully sorry about this. You know what I mean? I mean, I haven't got a leg to stand on, have I? Neither has he. No, but I mean, you know, I mean, I didn't want to get into the team, you know, like this. I mean, it's not fair on you, is it? Not fair on me. Well, it is fair on me, but I mean, not this, this way, way you know. Honestly, I'm so sorry. Really sorry. <laughs> Sorry, really, I'm very sorry. Sorry. Look, uh, you better play in Barry's position, all right? Wing three quarters. Yeah, OK. <laughs> Tom? Yep. 
Right, Tom, this is, this is a rugby ball. Right. And um, we're, we're, playing, um, we're playing rugby football. Is there any other kind? All oh. right, come on, let's have it. Come on. No. Oh! oh. Either the goalie's got very long arms or Robin's made a boo-boo. Tom, Tom, I think there's something you ought to know. Tom, can I just have a quick word with you, Tom? Robin's made a boo-boo. <laughs> Tom, Tom, there's something you ought to know. Look. <whistles> Tom. No accident, I was being murdered up. Oh, I've got so many bruises. Hot liquid paraffin and mustard. Huh? Oh, Mother Asquith swears by it. Well, you could stick Mother Asquith because I'm not having that rubbed over me. No, you're not. You're going to drink it. What? Don't worry, we'll look after you. Oh. <laughs>